This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon and uh, today I'm going to be talking about, um, I suppose, the process. I, I, I often talk about um, what I mean trust in the process is simply learning to trust yourself unfold. And so the, the unfolding, uh, the uncovering, the unbecoming, all of that is something that I uh, will speak to continually time and time again. Um, one of the things that uh, I've seen pop up recently is... This idea that you can get a result change in your life. So, let's say hypothetically, you're you're uh, you you figured out something in your life that you really don't like and you want to change, and that's meant to happen. If not overnight, then it's meant to happen at some point. There's a finish line. The issue with this is that it there's a few. One is that it gives hope to people that they can make a change without going through the work. Now, the work is, uh, is sometimes sold as this um, elusive um, lie to make people stay on as clients to, to coaches, performance coaches, business coaches, or PTs or whatever. But the reality is, is that that's not true. A, a coach should help build interdependency in an individual. Inter- interdependencies allows that person to make the decision whether they want to stay on and do work with a coach or do their own work or make their own way, whatever that looks like. So that is got more to do with codependency because there is never anything not to work on with our life. It's just whether we choose to do that or not. And sometimes we don't. Sometimes people choose not to go toward things because they've got attention in other areas of their life. And that's completely okay. There's nothing wrong with that because each person... Each person is unfolding um, throughout their own. I mean, unfolding and journey can sound. Let <laughs> me say it every now and again, corny. I guess. I guess the reason why I say that, I'm like, oh, this can sound corny, is because I grew up thinking how fucking wanky so much of this sort of stuff could could sound like, and I struggled moving through it until I found ways to to see it not be communicated in such a, a corny way to understand it on deeper levels, so that gratitude wasn't just some sort of journal I should meant journal in every you know three things every fucking morning gratitude was actually something that i learned to be thankful for for something that i had in my life that i that i once um once wished for right that was one thing and that's another way to think about gratitude we can also be grateful for things that we've always had in our life like our body right maybe for a lot of us our health um the opportunities that we have and live in the country that we live in and whatever country that may be but the reality is is that the journey that we are each on because we are on our own journey, our own story, right? And if you don't think you're on a journey or a story, then you're probably just ignorant to the point and just like, that's not very nice, David. But you're ignoring the fact that you're not in the same position you were when you were 15 or 20 or you've been in a different position when you're 40 and 50. It's like you are unfolding. Now, whether you go deep on that is up to you. But the reality is, is that we are unfolding. So... What that means is that if you have work, if you've got a result in your life that you want to change, that you want to make different, then it's going to take work. One of the ways that I explain this, and I explained this in a conversation today, is that let's say we have a thousand thoughts a day. Right? I'm not sure what the exact number is, but let's say we have a thousand. And then one day we have 999, I'm going to call them negative thoughts, 999 negative thoughts and one positive thought. The next day we have 999 negative thoughts and one positive thought. The following day we have 998 negative thoughts and two positive thoughts. The next day 997 and three positive thoughts. Now maybe we go 995 and five positive thoughts the next day. Maybe we keep this momentum up. Maybe we get down to 970 and 30 positive thoughts. And the next day, you get 982 and 18 positive thoughts. You've gone backwards, but you haven't. It's just a part of it. It's the same as driving a car. You got to, The fuel gauge is going to go down. You've got to put more fuel in the car, right? It's the same as money. It's not always just this continual money in. You've got to pay bills. This is like the same thing as eating. It's just, it's seen everywhere that the growth and the work 
Now you can try and skip out on the work and maybe maybe you will get short term short term results. Maybe you'll even have a short term awakening, but you will never get long term growth because it takes long term work. Long term work to continually look in and start to change your habits when they pop up in different states, in different situations, in, in different contexts. It, it, there's, there's, so, there's so much complexity to it is that sometimes we don't know what meaning structures we have about something until we get put back into that space and then we've got to practice how we fucking respond with it. Hey, and sometimes there is things within that unfolding that, that we see pop up and we're just like, fuck. Two days ago, I had an emotional reaction to this. Now, I just feel sad about it. But not sad like I used to. Maybe I feel sad for them. You see, this is what makes the difference, is that it's not black and white. And if someone's trying to tell you that it's black and white, it's probably because they're black and white. It's a process, right? There's, there's, there's a process. It's gray. It's unfolding. It, there's there's a continuum is another way to think about it it's not a switch it's got more it's got more to do with the dimmer and when we're able to see that we get rid of this globalist black and white and when i say globalist i'm not thinking like see the world on a global level i'm talking like communicating at a global level right things are big or you know things were good it's like what do you specifically mean with that but also then you get global with something that's like quite black and white and the, the difficulty of that is that now we become really, really broad and black and white and um, either this or that around global things. It's like we're missing the detail in the process, which is what fucking life is. It's what life is. Life is this beautiful detail that allows us to see the big picture, which is global. But if we lack either one, if we lack, if we lack globalness, this ability to see a big picture that we can lack a compelling future. If we lack detail, then we lack the ability to move towards that compelling future. And the same thing happens with our understanding where we're at in our life and moving towards the different result that we want to have with our life. Because when we move towards the new result with this hope that, you know, this, this, this self-belief and this conscious attention to seeing the things that are improving, we actually improve faster. When we try to improve ourselves faster by negative reinforcement, let's call it that, of all the things that I haven't done well and I should be there by now, all this is often just a motivational strategy because I'm talking to myself down, 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 and then I'll get a big boost of motivation again to go do something about it, right? And then there's your fucking yo-yo. People do it with diets all the time. It's about putting that shit, shit aside. It's really about putting that shit aside and recognizing that there is this continual unfolding and there is no fucking finish line. There's no finish line. You don't arrive. And when you can, when you can fucking realize that, when you really get that, you realize that every single day and every single moment is this opportunity of self-reflection and insight into your, your, your unraveling, into your development to be a, a, a better contributor to society. First to yourself and then to the greater population. And when we can be there, fucking imagine everyone taking personal responsibility but with this, this under, undermining, underlying urge to continually contribute to society. Like that's the kind of world I fucking dream about. Hey, that's utopia. Oh, well. But maybe one day, hey, maybe one day we will be in a space like that. Until then, no team, if you found this podcast beneficial, it would mean the world to moi if you would pass it on to someone else that you think would really find this beneficial. Uh, if you haven't already, jump on Facebook, search Move Prep Online. Um, I'd love to see you in there and continue the conversation. Otherwise, team, that's it. I am done. Until next time, you go, you know the drill. Peace and pizza. Kick today in the dick and slay the dragon. I'll see you soon. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned.